Whoa, greetings. All right, do a slight, a short galactic update. Right now I'm doing editing. Some of it's rambling. I guess that's the norm here. So a bunch of rambling for the Magic Kingdom video. So that should be up tomorrow. So I'm waiting on processing that right now. So wish well blessings. Have a heap holidays or happy Black Friday. I think the whole month is Black Friday month, so blessings to see that. Send our appreciation for that. So. All right, I think they're gonna make it a full year soon, so. Anyway, all right, it's all good. So much love, blessings. It's gonna be a short message, all I got energy for tonight, so. Oh yeah, channel update. Uh, yeah, with work at my job, so my private session time has been squeezed because of work. I can't get out of certain things, so I think I have to work Saturday too. I'm not looking forward to that. So, so yeah, I think the week of Christmas, my time awakens. I have more free time, but the next. Couple, well, I think Thursdays is where my time gets crunched. At least for private session time. So, anyway, that should be opening up maybe next week. Anyway, measure all well, anyway. blessings for rambling. Okay, end of rambling. Blessings. Much love. Here we go. Greetings, this is the Prime Creator. Much love to you. Happy holidays, humans. On this, yes, this Black Friday holiday of bringing together of goods that you will eventually throw away in your coming years. So, I just want to show our appreciation for humanity in your shopping bonanza and your restrictions of your religions that are keeping you from enjoying yourselves this holiday season. Where if you say this word, you will go into damnation or whatever it might be that your, your religions, you cannot eat this, that is quite humorous to us. But it's not, a, not in a way where it brings stress to the soul, where you think you're going to eat pork and go to hell after that. Those restrictions are put there too keep you in line but only for personal preference but it's always good to have a healthy diet for you humanity what blessings to you and your procreation here on this planet we do see many bringing more humans into this world this coming holiday season also if you catch my drift on that but also we see you Becoming more less human in your coming years. Less buying. Oh, well, that's going to be a tough one now, isn't it? That's going to be a tough one for some. But we want to send you the vibration that, yes, you might buy these things and disconnect from yourself, which is fine. But realize also you can reconnect by believing more in yourself and your abilities that you are the present and you just never opened yourself up to what you have already stored within you. How many have done that? Some have. 
They know who they are. But how about the rest of humanity? I've not. Yes, you all have a certain gift, but you all those gifts is a network that connects you all together, which is not explored all that much. Yes, telepathy is much used in that. There's much more there. But the gifts of humanity that has been seen as unreal because of belief systems. Oh, spirit guides, those don't exist. I do not see them, but yet they're still around you. And your angels, I do not see them, so I believe them, but yet they're still around you. So much needs to be explored within the soul. And those are the atheist energy, which you quite understand why you have that vibration. You realize also you have angels and guides, just in case you're wondering. If you have a belief system that does not believe in these things, well, that is fine. You are still loved, of course. And when you travel to the other side in astral, we have much discussions on that subject, which is fine. Because many choose in these incarnations to believe a certain belief, be a certain being, and to learn the ways of that experiment, which is just fine. As for atheism, there's much reason for it because it's to break away from the systems. Just as those that are sexual preferences, such as transvestite type of it's the same thing it's trying something new breaking out of what was called the norm which is nothing wrong with that at all and so on and so on is breaking out and also those in within your alien communities spiritual communities also is breaking free of what is called the norm on your planet but realize your spiritual energies live strongly within everyone however you want to label it, your guides and angels will always be there for you and if you do not want them there. They are still there. So to call it not real is fine for this third density vibration. But realize that does not make them go away by saying they're not real. That they're bringing their they are assistance to you. And very much so, even if you reject their assistance, they are still assisting. Because you are welcoming their assistance, not realize your intuition is always tapping into their energies. So you are always working with them, even if you say they do not exist, but yet you work with them every day. And for all of you out there, show appreciation for yourself to knock on your door, your own door of awareness, and let yourself come in. To yourself, realize there's a journey much more than what your Walmart can offer within one's soul. The limitations of this world are going to be crumbling away shortly. Or in our density, well, our time is different than yours. But we say to you be humble, enjoy. Do not take life so seriously. To take it easy on each other this holiday season. Because your next year is going to be a walker. Enjoy your normal as long as you can. Much love to you. We send our appreciation to you in this incarnation. I am the Prime Creator. PC out. <clears throat> I know I was laughing. Right. Which one? Blessings.